Are you a finance major? Do you consider yourself to be a quant? Looking for a job where you can make a difference? These attributes are part of the successful makeup of the modern risk manager. Financial risk management jobs are available at almost every major bank, investment firm and regulator worldwide. It's the perfect role for someone who wants to get into the world of finance. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, there are nearly 100,000 new risk management positions forecast by 2029. And according to a recent GUP survey, a quarter of the respondents earn between $100,000 and $1.5 million. Sheesh! But the job description can be a little complicated and hard to explain. So let's give it a go. To me, a risk is the part of organization which is one of the most interesting ones because that's a cross-section where everything comes together. The impact you can have in the lives of others through the work that your company does is the most rewarding. In many months, I'm lucky to be able to actually more than offset the losses they may suffer. And that's is really rewarding, actually. This is FRM Quick Takes, and we're here to help you understand risk management. So risk management is a broad topic. So let's separate it down into sections. You've got your generalist risk managers and you've got your specialist risk managers. I could use a really, really good explanation of what a specialist risk manager actually is. But where would I look for information like this? I wish there was someone I could talk to. Hey, how can I help you out? Uh, who are you? Hi, my name is Maurizio Garo. I'm a risk manager myself. I'm a director of the Garpa London chapter and I can talk about risk management. Oh. Okay, sure. Thank you. Ritsu, could you please explain to us what a risk manager does to people who might not have any idea? The idea is to the risk manager is to identify the potential risk, assess this risk, and then, according to that, evaluate what are the key steps that we want to do in order to uh, manage this risk properly, and the last step is about the monitoring, or if there are emerging risks, so additional risks you need to care about. Like nowadays, I can imagine climate change is a key risk that you want to care about, or cybersecurity, financial crime, they are kind of example of an emerging risk to some extent. Maurizio, you're, you're more of a specialist. Uh, could you talk to us about what maybe a specialist risk manager might do as opposed to a generalist risk manager? Uh, especially someone who actually has a more uh, narrow, if you want, knowledge of a uh, few of these risks, like market risk, credit risk, and they're aware of the end-to-end -end process. So this is more a specialist risk. In addition, a specialist is always someone, sometimes someone with a quantitative expertise, so able not just to, able to quantify and develop model to some extent to quantify, assess risk. Could you talk to us about what maybe a specialist risk manager might do as opposed to a generalist risk manager? Sometimes there's a gray line between the two, but in general, essentially a generalist is someone who has a good understanding on the risk management perspective framework and maybe he she has a good understanding of what the key financial risks like credit, market, liquidity or non-financial risk like operational. They don't have specific knowledge of the granular information, the detail. So let's zoom out for a second and look at the bigger picture. If risk management was a hospital, then a generalist risk manager would be a GP or a family doctor that you see about many common complaints. You can think of a specialist risk manager as a specialist doctor, like a cardiologist or a dermatologist. Specialist doctors have expertise in particular areas of medicine and are a better choice when this deep knowledge is necessary to treat your condition. The two have overlapping skill sets but specialists tend to do most of their work in one area, while generalists will be able to do their work across fields, but not quite to the standard a specialist might do in their own area of expertise. We chat to Crystal Saab about the top three key moments a risk manager faces in their day to day. Sure, a typical day as a risk manager has three key moments. The first one is looking at the news to see if there is any new trend or new emerging risks that may impact your business. The second moment is looking at quality assurance to ensure that business units are doing safe and adequate risk management 
and to see if there is any key risk that is uh, gaining in intensity, for example. And the third moment is reporting to senior management on key risk indicators so that they are informed if we are um, having in increases in risks or if there are new risks that they need to make decisions on. I would say the main skills are analytical skills to be able to analyze various different types of data and information. Project management skills because you want to be able to manage people in, in, in various uh, business lines. Organizational skills are very important as well to know uh, who within your organization are the ones who have decision-making power. And finally, the most important set of skills are soft skills, uh, which are the ones that will help you have transparent communication, but also effective communication, collaboration, empathy, because you really want buy-in from everyone in the organization. So the modern risk manager can no longer hide behind a spreadsheet. These days, you need communication skills, soft skills, and empathy to convince others that your way is best. Think of it this way. You could be a brilliant risk manager and perhaps be able to prove mathematically the superiority of your approach in reducing your firm's exposure without harming its ability to earn profits. But if you can't get your message across to stakeholders that count, like execs, the board, or traders, in terms they can understand, then your message is likely wasted. Here's Jasvinder Singh to talk us through the hardest parts of the job. Uh, what's like the hardest part of being a risk manager? There, there are a lot of hardest, uh, there are a lot of hard things which, which we do as risk professionals. You are predicting something which might happen, which might impact your company's uh, financial health or, or operational health. All of this actually creates a lot of stress because um, I, let's say, I am, I am the top boss of the organization, so I'm dependent upon my risk team to understand, okay, what is the implication of this this thing? How do I actually get over it? What can I do? How can I help my customer? So it creates a bit of stress, I would say. Does it pay well? You know, like I'm, I'm thinking like I'm like a, you know, a 20 year old um, um, student, you know, interested in finance. Um, does it pay comparatively to other roles in finance as well? That will be the first question on, on my mind when I apply for a job in any organization to be very honest. <laughs> yeah. So will I can pay well? So yeah, that's, that's a very interesting question. So yeah, I think what I've seen is that risk professionals do get paid well, especially if somebody is an FRM, right? So FRM uh, is a specialized certification. Uh, you get a exposure to a lot of analytical skills through that through that program. So that comes in handy when you get into an organization because you are an edge above the others because you already have that understanding which people learn in the organization through their training processes. How could the FRM uh, help someone who's interested in um, starting a career in risk management? It's a very important certification. First of all, it's globally recognized and uh, FRMs are, are lot in demand. These kind of roles are sought after by the, especially by the global banks or, or your investment banks or companies which have global operations. So it gives you like a step up. It gives you like a step up. It does absolutely. It does absolutely. First of all, it gives you a, a framework that you can rely on. It gives you overview of the key best practice, and in addition, it gives you a visibility of the current trends. The risk management universe is so wide, uh, it's uh, very difficult to be on top of, of everything. So I, I think the FRM gives you a kind of mindset that allows you to understand uh, the key uh, information and also understand how you select the, the information you need for to do your job. Being a risk manager sounds like it can be an incredibly rewarding career that pays well. Of course, there are sometimes drawbacks like stress during tough economic times, but for someone with good quantitative and communication skills, risk management can be an exciting and fulfilling career choice. Thanks for watching. Do you have a video idea for FRM Quick Text? Tell us about it in the comments and we'll see if we can create it for you. Subscribe to our channel to see more videos about people working in your favorite field. Bye.